Hello everyone, Matt Smith here and I'm going to be doing my first tutorial on how to create holograms in Blender. Okay, last time when I was trying to figure this out, I could only find two tutorials myself. This one had probably the worst sound ever. No offence. If you watch the tutorial, you'll know what I mean. And this went on for over an hour. And I really didn't want to watch that long. Just want to do some simple modeling. So, with that way, let's get started. In a new scene now. Oh, let me show what we're going to be making with the modeling. Just a nice simple hologram. Okay. If you didn't want to make that, don't bother watching the tutorial. Okay. Let's go one five shift C because it's being weird and I want the three D cursor at zero. Okay. Um scale the Z first, make it smaller, drag this up to zero. Um not zero, the X axis. Yeah, let's go there. Bar oh, Y frame A B G scale doesn't matter too much. Extrude again, scale again. A whoops. Uh it's like the top face. Um Extrude it one last time. Okay, now extrude again. Right click so it doesn't move. Scale it. Inwards. Extrude downwards. And we have the start of what will be our little hologram pad. Or hologram pad. Um, okay. Let's add a subsurf. Um, you can turn it up, but I'm just going to leave it at 1 because it will lag too much because I have a crap computer. Let's hit Ctrl R, drag this down. What I'm doing is smoothing the edges with the curtain sides, like here. Boom. Whoops. Confused myself there. Control R again. One out there. Control again. Control Z. Z. Control R. <sighs> and that's that done. It really doesn't matter too much. Okay, so let's play that and. We'll grab this lamp, change this to this, whoops, zero, whoops, zero. Uh, we'll change this to 180, zero. And now if we go to lamp type, we'll change it to spot. This is why we made it zero. Or we'll change rotation so it's pointing upwards. And just straight up. Okay. So now, if the lamp type we want it to be about, meh, ten should do. Don't want it too, too big. That's what she said. Okay. Also, hit Control Alt Numpad to move the camera to where we're looking. And now it's in front view when I did it, so it went to the front. Let's fair thing in shot. So add a quick plane in by shift A's and scale up to about there that should do shift C don't want to be in um what's it called <laughs> Josh you're getting in the way um completely lost track where I was. Oh, oh yeah, lamp. 
Okay, so we want the color to be blue, buff shadow, the most important bit right here. Spot shape is a halo, and then we want it to be, well, not 12, 3. And I'll show you Let's just quickly go to world, change it to black, change it to paper, F12. Zoom out a bit. And now because it's halo, it creates this sort of effect. Okay. So let's shift A, a new lamp in. Spot, oh, not spot point. Want it to be about the middle of the triangle. We want it to be about 0.4. A nice light blue. And we want distance to be like 5. We want to check sphere. Seems about right. Now if we render this, you'll see why. Um. Oh, uncheck specularity and this area only. Um, very slow computer as you can tell. And then that gives it a nice shadow, sort of. I don't know. I think it looks better. Okay, now let's add our main test subject. Let's go to the side, rotate 270G. Oops, just grab this. Want it just be under this other line. Want to hit T, smooth modifier. We want a subserf of one should be fine. Um, oh, look how cute the monkey is. Um, don't really need anything. In fact, we'll put that at point two. Material doesn't matter too much, so let's move on to move this to two. We'll then add a another lamp spot at uh, point cut down it uh g shift d and we're gonna do three point lighting which means just three around him that should give him nice even shift click all of the lamps hit control l object data data even what am i doing data um change color to a light blue change whoops that this there only turn off specularity. We want to scale this down just so monkeys in the middle of it all. Um, shift two, uh, shift one. So we're selecting both layers. All to so move this up just above monkey's head. F12. And so you can see, we've got a nice little monkey in the middle of it all. Let's change the brightness up to about 1.5. Um, it's probably fine, I'm not going to bother checking. Change this to 1, and only check layer 1. Create a new one, I'm just going to call it 2. I should probably name it properly, I just know what I'm doing. And I don't really care what they're called. Um, render this out quick. Hmm, no minutes, not doing too bad. Pretty much done already. Oh, right, yeah. We need to go over to the compositing. Uh, close these two. Use nodes. Backdrop auto render. Okay. You first one change this to two. That's why my last two tutorials I tried this messed up. Uh, I'm gonna add a filter. Um, sorry. That's a kurush. God, that's a weird word. Um, and then I'm just gonna put glare on top. Not. You could probably get a nice effect if you're to mess around with all of the settings on these, but 
just don't care too much. It's just a quick tutorial teaching the basics. Okay, now we want to add a new rail input, and we're going to go to. Um. Well, oh, we don't need anything. Yes, we do. We need a mix. Put the input. Top one needs to go on the bottom. Or layer one. Two needs to go on the bottom. Layer one needs to go on the top. Put output into viewer. And it's like that. Uh, let's change this to uh, 0 0.75 of 12. Render this. Okay. And there you can see that's pretty much done. But. If you saw the start of my hologram, it sort of blurs in. So I'll teach you how to do that quickly. That really takes two seconds. So we want to shift A, a blur node, which is under filter. We'll change the blur type to fast goosh. If that says. You all know it's have really weird names. No, in fact, just goosh. Gersh. Uh, we'll put that into there. We'll put this into the bottom. And to get it to fade in, what we're going to do now is input time. Uh, make sure it's zoomed in for this, otherwise it can get annoying. Grab this black dot. Move that up to there. Move this one down to here. Change this to about very. Um, put the fact value into the size and here. If we let it render the composite, so you can't see anything. If we go over to about there, it's so sort of blurry. And then if we go over to here, it's faded in. Um, I think it's pretty much tutorial done. Huh? So, yeah. Just an idea, you could probably put your name. Oh, actually. Uh, if you're wondering why, where you could use this, you could probably use this for like an intro. You could probably get your name spinning around and then yeah nothing I may do is one R wait whoops I need to keyframe that I want to go to frame 100 go to the end rotate it once in a bit right here uh, keyframe it there um probably get a name spinning around or a logo or something now that'll fade in I don't like how it does that so let's drag this up I don't like the fade effect for the slowly ramping up to speed so we'll change this to V Vector, drag this down, and if I do this, yeah, it's a constant speed now. That's the tutorial done. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe if you want more tutorials. If you need anything, just message me. Bye.